I guess let's start at the beginning. Mm-hmm. How did you get into Um, I was 19 and, um, you know, going way back, I got custody of my sister. I, I moved out when I was very young, like 14. I emancipated myself at 16 and I got full custody of my little sister at 18. Mm. So, um, you know, I was trying to go to school, work, and still take care of her, and I, I just couldn't make ends meet. So I answered an ad in the paper, nude modeling, mm-hmm. make like $1,000 a day. I was like, you know, I think I can do that. I, you know, I'm, I was on the cover of Teen Magazine. I was like, <laughs> Were you really? Yeah, that's, oh that God. was my first cover ever was Teen Magazine. Wow. So um, I drove. Someone's got to like try to dig that up. I, I want to see that. <laughs> I like, I drove and I got to, it was this, uh, it, I got to the location and it was actually a porn set. They were, I'd never seen a porn set and I pulled up and there was like, they were filming like three scenes at once. It was um, for for Zane and uh, I'm like, holy, I'm like, I can't do that. I'd only been with like one guy. Mm-hmm. And so I drove away and then I drove back and then I drove away <laughs> and I drove back and I was like, you know, if you don't do it, you and your sister are going to be out on your asses in three days. Like if you don't go through with this and make that money, you're going to be evicted. You're going to take your sister away. So wow. I did it. And uh, I was like a deer in headlights. It's the most embarrassing scene ever. And it was with Brand, uh, Brand, Brandon Iron. Oh, wow. And I didn't even know this came in different sizes. <laughs> you know, like he pulled that thing out and I didn't even know what to do with it. I was just licking it. And I was like, they're like, they're like, like blowing on it. Yeah. They're like, can you make noise or can you move? Like I literally just laid there and I looked like I was scared to death because I was. I was very shy. Yeah. And uh you know, I got the thousand dollars and then I was like, well, you know, that wasn't so bad. And I didn't tell my sister until mm-hmm. like she kind of figured something was up like maybe two weeks into it. And mm-hmm. I'm, you know, I'm like buying matching futons for our studio. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden you like have All, money. Yeah. And I, you know, lied for a while about what I was, how I was getting it. And then I, you know, I was like, well, finally I had to come clean. I didn't have a choice because everybody found out so, so quickly. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Who found out first? Uh, my friends. I mean, I, I went under the name Mirage for for two years. Uh-huh. So I was like, no, Sparkles was taken. I tried that. <laughs> really? <laughs> you were going to name yourself Sparkles? I was. I was. That's amazing. But there was already a Sparkles. Oh, that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I chose the name Mirage. And um, I think uh, the turning point was when my mom's boyfriend asked me to sign a, a box a VHS for him. And I was mortified. I was like, <gasps> that was a point where I was like, oh, I have to tell my mom now, you know, yeah. and it was just like, uh, after that, I was kind of like, you know what, everybody knows what I'm doing. I'm just going to stop going by Mirage because I hated the name anyway. Yeah. And I got my boobs done and changed my name to Brianna Banks, which Brianna is my real name. Mm-hmm. So just went, I just went for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what was your... um what was your like? Wh- okay, so you said you did Gonzo for two years. Yeah. Was there a point? Was there one scene that kind of made you feel like, okay, this is actually something that I enjoy. This is something that I could see myself like making a career out of this. Um, you know, all my Mirage scenes. I think I really have such a huge fan base because they were all real. That mm-hmm. was like my first time ever with the girls on mm-hmm. camera. You know, or my first time with two guys, or five guys, or three guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, like everything was real for me. Um, and uh, you know, I kind of grew up sexually on camera from mm-hmm. like a naive little girl that had been with one guy for like four years. To, you know, becoming a star and really finding, like, my sexuality and enjoying. Hey, guys. If you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening to bonus Q&As, behind-the-scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.